as you walk into the room, it affects your body, and that hopefully invokes emotions. My name is Dorothea Rockburn, and I'm a, an artist. Although I'm a painter, I also have a doctorate in mathematics, and the structure of my work is mathematical. When you get into higher math, it's, it's thrilling. It's living in another world. The way that mathematics always uses the elegant solution, my work has an elegant solution aspect to it. But explain it, I can't. That's why I do it, because it's not explainable in language. When we bring artists in, like Dorothea Rockburn, you have all these incredible correspondences between the work, which you hadn't even thought about. These installations that she made in the 1970s were ephemeral, because of course they were working at the same time and looking at the same things and using the same materials. To see her work now, even more so in the context of the artist here, mm -hmm. you realize how radical it is. We reunited something that existed, you know, for a relatively short period of time in New York, in Manhattan, we brought it here. All of her previous iterations of, of any of her work um, really responded to the space that she was given or the space in which she was working. She's working indoors with a specific environment and then adapting it to what her work needs. It's not bringing objects into a space presenting them. It's making the objects in the space. It was never meant as an art object to be sold. It was never made that way. It's, a, it's an experience. Dia offers this opportunity to see these things again in as close to as possible the way that they were intended to be seen. The way in which life, not just contemporary life, takes place is it's fast. And what beautiful art does is it makes you stop. It changes your time perspective while you're looking at it. You enter into a different time zone. And that is beauty. <laughs>